Example of a peculiar thermometer. The density of alcohol, like that of most substances, is found to decrease with increasing absolute temperature. The properties of water are, however, somewhat unusual, as the absolute temperature is increased above the temperature at which water melts, i.e. turns from ice into liquid water, which is uh, 0 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure, as you can see uh, the plot on the right. Its density first increases, and that is true up, up until uh, about 4 degrees Celsius, and then after going through a maximum, it decreases. Suppose that an ordinary thermometer of the type consisting of a liquid column with a glass tube is filled with colored water instead of the colored alcohol, which is commonly used. Glass tube filled with colored water. The temperature theta indicated by this type of thermometer, as usual, taken to be theta is taken to be the length of the liquid column. Imagine that this thermometer, when placed in contact with two systems A and B, indicates that they have respective temperatures theta A and theta B. Suppose that the temperature theta A of system A is larger, higher than the temperature theta B of system B. Can one necessarily conclude that heat will flow from system A to system B when these two systems are placed in thermal contact with each other? <coughs> so, uh, given that we have the change of uh, density of water with uh, temperature, now I want to find out what it implies in terms of the glass tube. So if I have a glass tube that is filled with colored water, uh, you can see that the height of the uh, column will indicate the, te uh, the temperature, so it will be the thermometric parameter because this is a constant uh, cross-sectional area, so area A, this is filled with colored water. So if the density is going to uh, rho W increases, implies uh, volume decreases because the mass of uh, the water that we have inside the glass tube will be a constant. Rho W is mass of the water divided by the volume. Uh, and so if the volume decreases, i.e. H decreases. So if the density increases, H decreases. If the density uh, decreases, H increases. So we have this relationship. So if we were to plot the uh, height of the column as a function of uh, the temperature, what would it look like? So here is our thermometric parameter theta, which is the height of the column. Theta is equal to h. Uh, so basically this is h, height of the column. So since at first the density increases, the height will decrease. So we will start from a, a large height and then it will decrease. And then when we reach uh, 4 degrees Celsius, uh, it's going to reach a minimum and then it will start increasing again. Uh, so this is how the theta parameter will behave. So if you have a reading in this range, so if you have a height reading theta A in this range and a height reading uh, theta B in this range, now you can see that uh, the corresponding value of the uh, temperature is here and the corresponding value of the temperature B is here. So here is um, Ta uh, and here is T 
p okay so uh, we notice that uh, for this case if the temperature is between 0 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius as temperature increases the volume decreases uh, so the thermometric parameter H will decrease because we have area, cross-sectional area is uh, constant. Okay, so when the temperature is in the range uh, 0 degrees Celsius to 4 degrees Celsius, 4 degrees Celsius, theta A greater than theta B implies we have the temperature A, TA, that is less than TB. So even though we have a higher uh, thermometric parameter reading, the temperature is lower. So what would happen in this case? Well, in this case, because the B system is hot, if we were to make a thermal contact between the two, uh, TB greater than TE implies heat will flow from B to A, from system B to system A. So the answer to the question, can one necessarily conclude that heat will flow from system A to system B when these two systems are placed in thermal contact with each other? So heat will flow from B to A uh, when in thermal contact. This is our uh, conclusion for this range of temperatures. So can one necessarily uh, conclude uh, necessarily conclude that uh, the heat will flow uh, from A to B? The answer is no. No. If theta A is greater than theta B, one cannot necessarily conclude that heat will flow from system A to B when in thermal contact. So we cannot make this conclusion. So part B, suppose that the temperatures theta A and theta B of the two systems are found to be equal. So here we have, in the first case, we had theta A reading greater than theta B. Here we have theta A equals to theta B. Can one necessarily conclude that no heat will flow? In between systems A and B when the systems are placed in thermal contact with each other. Now going back to my uh, theta as a function of temperature plot, the thermometric parameter as a function of temperature, so let me make this a little bit more clear here. So first I have a decrease and then I have an increase. The minimum point is roughly around 4 degrees Celsius. So now I have a situation where I have the same reading for the theta A and theta B. So this is 
the reading, let's say. So here I have theta a equals to theta b. So this one is basically the temperature of a. And this one is the temperature of b. So as you can see, even though the thermometric parameter readings, the height readings are the same, the temperatures are not the same. So we cannot necessarily conclude that no heat will flow when these systems are placed in thermal contact. So one can see that if one of the systems this could be A or B, has a temperature below 4 degrees Celsius and the other the other one above 4 degrees Celsius it is possible To read the same column height theta a is equal to theta b even though the temperatures a and temperatures b are not the same so the answer to the question is therefore no if theta a is equal to theta b one cannot necessarily conclude that no heat will flow when the systems are in thermal contact. Okay. So what is, uh, what, what is this result? What is the uh, lesson that we learned from this? Basically, we need to have a very well-defined uh, temperature dependent, uh, dependence for the thermometric parameter. So uh, ideally, we would like to have a linear dependence and theta versus T, uh, ideally, so uh, I can see that ideally, I would like to have a theta versus T that looks like this basically a linear relationship so that when the temperatures are the same I can necessarily conclude no heat will flow when they're not the same I can necessarily conclude in which direction the heat will flow when the systems are placed in thermal contact so we talked about a peculiar thermometer where we, we have a water replacing alcohol. Since water has an increase in density between 0 and 4 degrees Celsius, roughly 4 degrees Celsius, and then a decrease uh, with increasing temperature. Well, you would normally expect that the density decreases with increasing temperature because of thermal expansion. So you would expect that the volume will increase for constant mass, the density would decrease. But that's not the case between 0 and 4 degrees Celsius for water. And it has to do with the nature of the hydrogen bond in water. Uh, so in this case, if I make a glass tube thermometer uh, filled with colored water, you can see here uh, the volume is the height of the column multiplied by the area. Since the area A is a constant, it's a constant area, uh, the height will change with temperature. So that's our thermometric parameter. H is theta. Now, as uh, we change the temperature between 0 and 4 degrees Celsius, the increase in density implies a decrease in volume, which means we have a decrease in the height. So first we have a decrease in the height, and then we have an increase in the height as a function of temperature. So the 
reading that gives us theta A greater than theta B for temperature in the range 0 to 4 degrees Celsius actually implies temperature of A is less than temperature of B instead of temperature of A greater than temperature of B. So we cannot necessarily conclude that heat will flow from A to B. Actually, in this case, it will flow from B to A. And if they have the same reading, theta A is equal to theta P, for the uh, case where I have one of the systems having a temperature below 4 degrees C and one above 4 degrees C, which uh, gives the same theta reading, we cannot necessarily conclude that no heat will flow in thermal contact because the temperature of B in this case is greater than temperature of A. So actually the correct conclusion for this one would be heat will flow from B to A when they are placed in thermal contact.